So here we have another bike. It's a uh, 1998 Honda Blackbird. Uh, I've never worked on one of these before. Apparently the issue on it is it won't hold the charge. Wiring in the back, I'll show you here closer in a little bit, uh, it fell out of the bike and rubbed on the rear tire. And he took it to his shop to get it rewired. It didn't look like they did a very good job on it. So I'll show you a close up what it looks like now. It looks like they tried to, uh, I guess, uh, shrink wrap it. I'm actually gonna take all this shrink wrap off and redo it. So, so what we're gonna do is just cut these wires and uh, we re-shrink them and probably uh, uh, cover them with tape just to be on the safe side. So this should be a pretty quick fix. After that, I'll just test right and see how it goes, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done with it. All right guys, so we're now done. As you can see, uh, all, everything's all nice and tucked in and covered up. And on top of that, uh, we bind them all together just to make sure that it doesn't look so messy. So, also going into this bike, the uh, third fuse was popped on this thing. That had a lot to do with these uh, wires touching each other the way they were, so. All right guys, so after uh, putting back the, all the crazy wiring that was in the back of this tail section that uh, I went on and uh, re-wrapped, I rode the bike for a good, about 15 minutes or so and it turns out that the bike shut off. But diving in more to the left side to see if there's anything going on with the stator, um, it turns out tearing it more apart that uh, I'll show you here as you can see uh, the issue there guys That's definitely uh, uh, Definitely not good. Obviously the issue we're running into in this case uh, the Stator itself is not powering up the rectifier to generate power back to the battery So I'm gonna go ahead and see I'm gonna test this stator to see if it's still good And I'm also gonna follow the uh, connections to see if there's anything else that was damaged So continue watching and uh, I'll keep y'all guys updated So we already took the tank off. Um, as you can see, we got a couple uh, uh, burnt wires in here. So I'm gonna have to go in here and sort this out. I'm gonna dive in deeper to see what all needs to get done here. So we'll see what happens. All right guys, so even though we've already uh, d discovered the fact that the wires for the stator are, are pretty messed up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out the stator. I was gonna open up the stator cover anyway just to see how the stator looks. So um, just to play it safe, we're gonna test it. What we're about to do is basically just uh, we're gonna check the resistance to see if the stator itself is grounding out to the bike, which it shouldn't be. In this case, if we do see resistance, what's basically happening is the stator is actually shorting itself out. So we're gonna go ahead and test that real quick. As you can see here, it's just basically saying that it's, uh, it's, it's an open circuit. If we touch the two probes together, what we get is actually resistance. That lets us know that the circuit is completed. What we're looking for in this case is uh, we want to see, once we test it out, we want to see this symbol. As we're testing is if we do see any kind of numbers on the multimeter, then that tells us that the stator is bad. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then uh, let's see what we see. All right guys, so first wire. I'm putting the probe on the wire and now I'm grounding to the bike. And we're getting numbers, guys, basically saying that this stator is shorting out on the bike. Uh, we're going to go ahead and test the other two just to see just to see what it says as well. And that one is also showing us numbers. As and we're going to test the last one just because, even though we already know the stator is bad. And that one is as well showing numbers. We're going to go ahead and see what it looks like. Either way, it's got to be replaced at this point, so we'll keep on going. one of the two components go out, it's just safe and better to just go ahead and replace both. But in this case, it just depends on the, uh, the owner of this bike to see if he wants to do both. So it's, it's really up to him. All right guys, so there we have it. Little beauty rectifier on this bike. This is the smallest one I've seen so far. Hopefully uh, this isn't an issue as well. Okay guys, so we finally got the new stator in. As you can see, uh, uh, compared to the old one there, that's still sitting in there. Now that we got that, we can go ahead and start and uh, putting this back together. And uh, they also seem to connect her here, which I do need because the old one got fried. Redo the wiring and also uh, redo the uh, connector as well. And uh, we should be good. All right guys, so we got the new stator in there now. And, and uh, we went on and uh, 
fix the connector as well. We got a new connector on both ends, so uh, uh, that's good just to be on the safe side. I didn't want to use any of the old stuff. And uh, we got the new rectifier in there. Now we're just basically going to put the uh, bike back together and uh, see if everything works right. Hopefully it doesn't shut off on me this time. And uh, if it does, then we'll continue on and see what else is wrong with the bike. So we'll see how it goes. This bike is complete. Um, I've already test rode it around the block for a good 30 to 45 minutes or so. No issues with the charging system at this point, so we're good on that. What we did to this bike was basically uh, change the stator out, change the uh, rectifier out, and also rewired the back tail section. But yeah, guys, this bike is now good to go. So uh, keep enjoying the videos and keep watching, and uh, and we'll see what we have next.